Well, welcome back, fixed blade lovers. And I hope you are, because fixed blades have a place in the knife world. Many people only carry fixed blades, sometimes small ones or smaller ones. Well, I've been waiting a long while, seems like a long while, for this one from Civivi. And uh, finally, they just dropped uh, earlier this week. So they're becoming available everywhere. This is a Bob Terzuola design. And I first saw this knife in the 80s. And I simply, I think he simply called it his like a tactical boot knife or he had some name like that. I don't believe he called it the Tamashi. Okay, but now made by Civivi, and you can pick one up for about 68 street price um, from White Mountain Knives and uh, even Amazon and Blade HQ. We have this fine everyday carry style tactical fixed blade. Let me tell you something, it's just beautiful in the hand it's slim. You have jimping in all the right places. You have a beautiful trailing point blade, reminiscent of a traditional Tonto, not an Americanized ta chisel point Tonto. And one's not good and one's not bad or whatever, but a very useful blade, which you could consider to be an outdoor blade, high flat grind, the swedge makes it a little more tactical for thrusting. The uh, handle on this one is black. The tang is completely enclosed and they did such a good job that you can barely see any seam. There it is though. So it is two handle halves put together. We have a rivet there so these can't be separated. The uh, lanyard hole here forms another attachment point, and I would imagine they use epoxy or something to hold the rest of it together. But uh, the tang is not just a stick, as far as I know, but it's uh, almost the same size as the handle. So it's a very strong knife for its size. And again, the ergos on this are great. If you have the chance to pick one up and you like fixed blades, uh, definitely the way to go. It's about a four inch blade. It is D2. Um, a modest but very usable, serviceable, been around for a long time tool steel, which is um, only partially stain resistant. I think we all know that. So put a little bit of silicone or oil on it now and then, even vegetable oil if you're preparing food with it or camping with it. Uh, just a great knife. The only thing, it's got a beautiful lanyard uh, added to it. I don't find much use for it. I don't think I'd even use it to pull it out of the sheath because I'd want my hand on that sheath. So it's probably, if I get much use out of this, it's going to come off. And I think it can, it's looped through, so I think it can slip off relatively easily without disassembling it. Let's back out just a little bit because we do have a Kydex sheath with Bob Terzuola's, there's his name, uh, tech lock type sheath. I don't know whether they're calling it a tech lock or not, but uh, they were, tech lock was the first ones to make this style sheath. And as you can see, it can be removed and repositioned through the various grommets to carry it any way you like. Right now, it's set up for a handle up carry. It could be carried horizontally or what have you. Um, I haven't put it in the sheath yet, so let's give that a try. Sometimes there's grit in the Kydex sheaths, and what happens is, with the sheath being a very hard sheath, it gets pressed against the steel when it's withdrawn 
and scratches the blade. If you're using the knife, you're not going to mind at all. But if it's a collector, showpiece, whatnot, you may. Easily thumbed off, so I like the amount of tension that they use on that sheath. And I have at least one other Civivi fixed blade knife that unfortunately, after just putting it in and out of the sheath a couple times, had some longitudinal scratches. But I'll be putting this in the sheath and checking it out. I didn't want to put it in and out of the sheath too many times uh, before we show you the knife. Just to show you that it's got a beautiful satin finish. With some very nice uh, mild grind lines there that you can see. And it comes through extremely sharp. Maybe we'll do a cutting test, but if I forget, take my word for it, it's got a smooth razor sharp edge. I do not measure edge thicknesses. Maybe I should start doing that. Okay. But I like the way it's set up. And I owned, I think I was saying, one of the original versions of this made handmade by Bob Trezola back in the 80s along with I think one other plus a Chris do I have them nope because since then I've been in and out of knife collecting what can I tell you if I could see into the future I would have hold, held on to everything but sometimes money is needed for other things as you know okay so we're gonna run some specs down these are coming right off of a Blade HQ, which are really coming from Civivi slash Wii. The overall length of this knife is 8.875 inches. The blade length is 4.07 inches with a cutting edge of 4.25 inches by virtue of the angled handle. That often happens. It's a trailing point blade with a flat grind Handle length 4.75, handle width top to bottom 1.0 inches. It's got a handle thickness of a nice and slim 0.55 inches. Um, this is a black G10. It does come in green and I think desert tan, but it don't hold me to that. Uh, Kydex sheath, fixed blade. What do we have for a weight? We should have a weight, yes we do, 4.04 .04 ounces. So there you go. I'll make sure those come up as text on the screen as you're watching this. I happen to uh, gather together a few other knives for comparison that are very much in the same range as the Tamashi. This, of course, is the Spyderco Street Beat. Here we have a beautifully designed knife by Mazwan Mokhtar from Tucson. And there is a review on this, and I'm going to pause a moment so I can get you the number. It is the TS-265. That's what happens with numbers. And I know sometimes there are already nicknames that have been ascribed to these knives. There may be one for the, the Tucson, but uh, maybe you know and I don't know. One more. Here is the Bastinelli Red V2. And let's pull a few of the others of these out, or maybe we can just pull back a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, that works. So here is the Tamashi next to the Street Beat, next to the 265, and the Bastinelli Red V2. So all similarly sized, the smallest one's going to be the Street Beat, three and a half inch blade, as opposed to the, I guess they're measuring it from here. Yeah, that would be about right. And a uh, little closer look there to the TS-265. That's a smaller knife. 
and uh, probably the closest one size wise is going to be the best in Nelly pretty much right in that same tactical range a little longer blade on the uh, Civivi Tamashi uh, branding minimal Civivi there's Bob Terzuola's Mayan Dragon logo. There we have D2 on the blade, right next to the handle. It's um, his designs. Uh, I don't know how to describe them. They're simple, they're elegant, and they're extremely utilitarian and useful. Uh, this knife will work in uh, point down, edge in edge out and again the lanyard gets in the way of any sort of knife manipulation uh, the main purpose of this type of lanyard that doesn't loop around your wrist would be to unravel it to uh, use it in uh, survival scenarios out in the woods or whatnot but you can always carry a length of that in your pocket as well uh, so for me if I handle this knife much move it around uh, do any practice with it it's going to be without that lanyard <laughs> so let's once again take a look at that beautiful grind and the uh, profile of this trailing point blade again very Japanese inspired with a Japanese name as well I'd say It'd make a great pocket EDC for those of you that like front pocket carry. I would take the clip off of that knife or the sheath and simply drop it in the front pocket. I think it would probably work pretty well. A little over eight inches. Uh, depends on how deep your pockets are. Again, what you're wearing for pants, trousers, etc. Or uh, would make a really nice horizontal belt carry for just about any purpose. So utility, EDC or tactical. So um, congrats to Civivi. I like this knife so much I got another one coming in with a green handle. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do? But uh, never know. Maybe that'll be a giveaway. But we'll see because uh, getting real close to 2,000 subs and hope uh, to add a few more soon so we can have a gaw. All right. Well, Enough said, this old sword signing out. Hope you enjoyed this review and check this knife out. Be well.